Meraki TV is proudly brought to you by George Focus of Focus Beyond. Education for investing wisely. Better and welcome, I'm Anna Savo and this is Meraki TV, brought to you by George Focus of Focus Beyond, education for investing wisely. Tonight on the show, we have the top Greek music tracks for May, courtesy of DJ Crazy Con, Stavroula talks to Maria Stavropoulou, we visit the ancient Greek myth of Pygmalion and Galatea, there's a wealth tip from George Focus, Helen goes carb free in the kitchen, and Demetra launches Meraki TV's What's On. So let's get it all started with Blue Blood Pastry Chef George Diachomikalis from Adelaide. Conquering the pastry world has proven not enough for this amazing talent. He's now launched his own TV show. Maria Koklastu jetted over to the City of Churches to find out more. Meraki TV is here today in Adelaide with this amazing pastry <laughs> chef. Yorgos Diakomichalis, and he's actually starting his own show on Channel 7, It's All Greek to Me. George, yes, tell us Maria. how you start. Kalimera. How are you? Basically, a story, um, I think telling the story about my, a migration story, talking about how people migrated to Australia, in our case, and then how they keep their traditions alive while living as proud Australians. So I'm into food, I'm into my zakharoplastiki and all the traditional Greek food, but the thing is, showing how food is the vehicle that keeps our families together. So we have a few recipes in amongst the uh, the show. So we're lucky to have both cultures and get the best out we're, of both I, of them. I believe very much so. We live in a fantastic country that gives us all opportunities. And in my case, uh, I've benefited from the opportunities that my parents have given me because their parents made decisions to come here. I lived in Kos for 20 years. Yes. Every year I'd go across to Kalimnos and the yeah, first thing they would right say to me, to it, yeah. which is the yeah. island right next to it, yeah. and everyone would say to me, yeah. there would be at least 10 people. Yeah. When you go to Kalimnos, yeah. okay, right. so when you're going to Kalimnos, can you please bring us a tray of Galactoburiko? What's so special about the Galactoburiko that you guys make? Oh, mate, well, look, I mean, I wouldn't be giving away our family secrets, otherwise I'd have to kill you there, Maria, but uh, look, uh, look, in the Tomeraki, man. What, what, what can you say? It's, it's what we love. Yes, Maria again. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> Yorgo. Our, our fajitos here. Oh, and, how uh, wonderful. Uh, uh, yeah, yes, yeah. I'm having your yes scrambled yeah. eggs. So, Maria, let's move. Okay. Livon, tamu pisisi katarhas. Um, who created this? The family, all along the, the wall here, you can see different photos. It's actually a timeline on the back wall over there. I've got my great-grandfather who started our business back in 1918, over in Kalimnos, Greece. Um, and basically, um, the story is, as a nine-year-old, he was orphaned. His father died as a sponge fisherman. He had to work. He got sent to live with a family over in Russia that were pastry chefs. As a nine-year-old picture, if you've got a nine-year-old son, daughter, nephew, niece, sister, whatever it is, them going to another country where they don't understand the language, working in a kitchen with a, a Xeno family and living with that family and getting paid, having the money sent back to his family in order for them to live. So he grew up in a pastry kitchen, learnt that and then made his way back to Kalinos in his early 20s. He then continued and opened our first patisserie, Tuvuru. Iorea Kalimnos is called, so Tuvuru is, is the name. And that's where I undertook my training and learned under the guidance of my uncles and grandfather and then came back here to Adelaide. I was the first of five great-grandchildren that still uh, do what I, we do in our family. And I came back here and opened our business here in Kalimnos Pastries in Adelaide back in 1995. Wow. So, so who would have thought a scared nine-year-old little boy yeah. heading to Russia yeah, correct. That he would actually create something so spectacular. Yeah, it's what, pretty... Yeah. What would you say, if you could go back in time and speak to your great-grandfather, what would yes. you ask him? Question uh, you would how ask he him. got through how those hard through. times. You know, the character yeah. which that generation and then the generation after, that was true 
strength of character to be able to get through that. And I think it's something that all of us have benefited from, obviously. And I also hear that your both your daughters <laughs> looks like the the um, generation is going to continue on to your daughters. They have a love for cooking. Yeah, they do. I've got two young daughters, an 11 and 8 year old, and they're both into their cooking. Uh, we're lucky that they uh, do cook very well. They've done. They, they've. They've. We've, there was a group of eight of us probably about a few months ago, and they did a three-course meal for us from scratch, making their own pasta, their hilopites that they made, and then uh, doing the saganaki prawns and the entrees, and then doing desserts. Um, so very, very proud. But they just, they just really, really enjoy it as well. But you know, let them be kids, and whatever it is that they want to do, they'll do down the track. So I can't wait to get invited to George's for dinner. <laughs> it's going to be an amazing experience. Ella Maria, look, enough chit chat, poli lo yia. It's time to eat. That's it. Time to enjoy your yazavga. Ade kaliorixi. Kali masorixi. DJ Crazy Con's top Greek tracks for the month of May. Number five, Knockout. Takalitera Pedia Epon Psychologica. Number four, Katala Veto Elias Vretos. Number three, Constantinos Tufos, Tapotiria Mas Psila. Number two, Mazida Kanume Zan Batiste. Number one, Takala Pedia Christos Menidiatis. It's time for an income breakthrough to free yourself from working for money, have your money work for you. George Focus of Focus Beyond will show you step by step how to generate income from the share market irrespective of if it goes up or down. Access resources that do the hard work for you and devote no more than 60 minutes a month so you can enjoy financial freedom and time with family. To change your life forever, go to focusbeyond.com now. Grease 2017 CD is out now. DJ Crazy Con unleashes Volume 19 in his world famous Grease Mix CD series. It features the biggest artists, including Talikis, Kufus, Karas, Salty, Stan, plus many more. The new CD showcases 20 hot tracks in a trademark mix by Australia's super Greek DJ producer Crazy Con. Grease 2017 out now at all good music stores, iTunes worldwide, or online at crazymusic.com.au. Whether it's Melbourne, Darwin, Queensland, something exotic or just perfect Greece, call Mega Travel 9824 2427. Here at Eremia, we provide the highest standard in home care available. 
With a diverse, multicultural and bilingual team that excel in patient care, we communicate effectively with our clients and families to give added confidence. Offering care for both the elderly and persons with special needs at home is part of our enablement approach. Our professional support workers assist clients in an active way to regain independence, promote individual capacity building and include restorative care to help our clients achieve their own goals from the service provided. Visit eremia.com.au Every day there are ancient Greek influences all around us from science to maths, astronomy and even the arts. The tale of Pygmalion is one that has fired the imagination of many a modern day writer. And just in case you don't remember the original story, here it is. Pygmalion was a talented Greek sculptor from Cyprus. He saw women as flawed creatures and had vowed to never waste not even a moment of his life with any of them. He dedicated himself to his work instead, and soon his greatest creation was born, Galatea, a statue of a woman made from ivory. Pygmalion poured so much of his heart and soul into the statue of Galatea that it became more beautiful than any woman that had ever lived or been carved in stone. Subsequently, Pygmalion fell madly in love with his creation. He began to kiss it, talk to it, caress it, and even bring it gifts, such as flowers and beads. He dressed her in fine clothes and jewellery. Ironically, the man who wanted to never fall in love had now fallen in love with the one woman who could never love him back. The day of the festival of Aphrodite, the goddess of love came, and Pygmalion, during his sacrifice to her, wished for a bride who would be the living likeness of his ivory girl. When Pygmalion went home, he kissed his statue as always, but this time her lips seemed warm. Aphrodite had not been able to resist the purity of Pygmalion's love and had made his lady statue come to life. Luckily for him, Galatea also loved him back. They were wed and had a son named Paphos, from whom the city of Paphos in Cyprus received its name. The myth of Pygmalion and Galatea was also the basis for the play by George Bernard Shaw entitled Pygmalion, which was then the basis for the famous musical and film My Fair Lady that starred Audrey Hepburn. Welcome back to Helen's Cuisine and today I'm making you one of my favourite dishes from my mum. This is really, really simple, really great for those carb conscious people. My son loves this because it's all vegetable, a little bit of cheese, some shallots and eggs. So it's protein plus for those who want to be fit and very, very simple. I've simply got my zucchini, which I love using my little zucchini pasta maker. We've got four eggs. We've got a little bit of shallot, we've got a little bit of red onion, some garlic, and I've got some ricotta cheese and mint, just to blend that through as well. Now that's optional. We usually only make it with our zucchini and onions and egg, but today I'm gonna to put a little bit of ricotta in there as well. Really, really simple to make. Less than 10 minutes, we're heading over to the stove. So we've got our fry pan on medium heat. I'm going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil in there and we're gonna start off frying off our shallots. So you just want to brown off your shallots and your red onion and then you're going to put the zucchini straight in and we want the zucchini to cook down. So guys, this isn't an attractive dish, but boy is it flavoursome. So we've got our olive oil, we've got our onion, our shallots, our garlic and our zucchini. It's simmered right down and the zucchini is now ready for me to add the cheese and then the egg. A little bit of salt and pepper and it is delicious. So the idea of this, guys, is to get it as crunchy as you can. So once we put our cheese and our egg in, we want it to have those little burnt edges because that's what makes it flavoursome. A little bit of salt and pepper. We've got our ricotta. You can use ricotta, you can use cheese, or do it without. Okay, last but not least is our egg. Lightly whisk the eggs. You put it in, 
use the fork to shred it through. You're not looking for an omelette here. You want it to be all mushy and yummy and crunchy. Really important that you get your fork going through the fire pan all the time because like I said, you're not looking for an omelette. You want that egg to be all broken through that zucchini. That's what makes it flavoursome. It's ready to eat. There we have it guys. Serve it with bread or for the carb-free people without bread. Absolutely delicious. 10 minutes, super dinner, super breakfast, super lunch, super anything. Hi folks, my name is George Focus. Thanks to Meraki TV for having me here today. What I'd like to share with you is a little tip that I give my members around the world when it comes to building wealth. See, we all want to have wealth and we all want to achieve wealth today, but we're not willing to put in the steps and the measurements to achieve that wealth. What I teach my members and what I'd like to teach you is this. Do today what others don't to have tomorrow what others won't. That is very important and, and let me repeat that. Do today what others don't to have tomorrow what others won't. See, we all want to have success today, but we're not willing to put the steps in to get to that success. What are you going to do today? And what are you going to sacrifice today to have for the rest of your life that other people won't? I'm George Focus. I look forward to seeing you shortly. If you have any questions, by all means, contact Meraki TV and I'm more than happy to answer them for you. Thank you. From Pyrrhus to Cyprus, forgotten and remembered Hellenic kingdoms, territories and a fiefdom is the second book from Meraki TV's own Billy Kotsis, bringing an overview of 36 territories after the disintegration of Alexander the Great's empire, it also scans the conquests of Alexander, the Byzantine Empire and more, each of the chapters cleverly connected by Thucydides, who is after all the reason why history is written the way it is today. Available from Amazon, selected outlets across Australia and via billycotsis at hotmail.com. Γεια σας, είμαι ο Ζαν Μπατίστ και το Σάββατο 24 Ιουνίου σας περιμένω όλοι στο Σίδνεϊ, στο The Basement. Θα γίνει της κακομύρας, θα περάσουμε υπέροχα. Μη λείψει κανένας και να θυμάστε. Πες του, πες του, πες του, πες του, δε σ' αγαπάει όπως εγώ, αυτό θυμίσου που δε μου φέρεσαι σωστά, άντε. Τα υπόλοιπα από κοντά, να είστε καλά. Hey guys, Demetra here and you are watching our brand new segment, Meraki TV, What's On? In Sydney, if you feel like getting your Greek dancing shoes on, you must check out Let's Go Greek with the Paradise Band at Ramsgate RSL on the 2nd of June. A free event, but only for those 18 plus. In Melbourne on the 11th of June, get your folk on with Manassi's multicultural folkloric dance concert at the Benson Center, Burwood East. And finally, Crazy does it again on Saturday the 24th of June at the basement with Greek man of the moment, Zan Batis and the Best Tour Australian Tour. Tickets from $59, phone 0418 451-481. Now if you'd like to get your event on Meraki TV, email me at watson at meraki.tv or inbox the Meraki TV Facebook page. Until next time. She was born with the voice of an angel and from the tender age of 16, Maria Stavropoulou was working with some of the biggest names in the industry, 
such as Spakyanaki, Kodolazo, Marinela, Bonidi, Alkeos, and too too many to mention. She's since returned from The Voice Greece. Let's hear all about it. Maria, you were handpicked from a very young age to go to Greece and start a singing career. Tell us about that magical moment. Well, I was singing in Australia since I was very young, at 10 years old I started in the Greek scene. And I used to sing with all stars from Greece when they used to come from overseas. Marinella, Godolazo, Monaco. And they used to always say to me, come to Greece and we'll help you, you know, like you've got talent. And then when I was about 16, Monaco came to Australia. And he told my parents, he went and saw my parents, he said, we want to, I want to take Maria to Greece and help her have a career. Well, my parents were like iffy about it at first because like, you know, she hasn't finished school yet, she's young. I said, please, this is what I want to do in my life. And that's how it started. So I went to Greece with my mother at 17 and um, Monaco took me and started me off in Greece, my career. Um, who are your inspirations, Maria? Um, I have to say I've got many uh, because when you're, when you're a singer and a musician, you, you get inspired by, by many different type of people. So you can't just say this one person does this for me because everyone has different talent. So you can absorb from everybody something different. Let's um, fast forward to now, and because you've just recently come back from Greece from being on The Voice. <laughs> what was that like? Um, great as an experience. It's, uh, look, I'm, I've been singing my whole life and I've been in game shows and tried to do all that. So you, I'm aware before you get on, it is a game show. And for us as entertainers, it's great because we get to um, be heard by many people and get known by it. more people that know you without TV. It's sort of marketing for us. Tell us about the audition process. Um, the audition was just, I um, saw on TV, I think it was at my mum's house, that they're auditioning for um, The Voice. So I went home in Australia and I just sent a video of me singing. And then they rang me and said to me, you've passed. And you're you're on the happened? show. I said, Ah, oh. <laughs> and then I had to go to Greece and go through past another audition and then another audition and then it was the blinds and that was great. The only thing they you didn't get to choose your own song like I would have liked to sing Greek like I'm a Greek singer and they made me sing English. I go, are you sure? I'm going to sound like... Why do you think they <laughs> that? Um, well in Greece they do love a lot of English now unfortunately or fortunately, whatever, however someone sees it. Um, so someone coming from overseas that you want to be a Greek singer, so that's the difference that you have here, that you've been grown up in a country of English language and you sing Greek. So when my friends were listening to English, I was sitting taking my dad's little discourse out and listening to the Gazadzivi and all the Greek songs. You want to go and show that, that I learnt Greek and this culture, even though I've been raised out. But when you get there, they want you to sing English. It was really interesting. I watched you on The Voice and I loved that you were proposed to. Oh, wasn't that beautiful? It was really beautiful. I was actually crying watching that. Yeah, I was. When's the wedding? <laughs> we don't know yet. I was like shocked just getting proposed to because my beautiful Chris is really usually like, he's not out there and he's more humble and more stuff like that. So I wasn't expecting that. But, um, it was magic and it was beautiful, but I don't know yet when we're going to get married. So what are you working on right now? So right now I'm working on a new album in Greece, though I'm doing it like they do the music over there. They send it to me in Australia. I sing it, I send it back. And um, I've got many surprises in there, which I don't want to say yet. <laughs> For our next interview. That, that's part two. <laughs> I like part that. Two. Yes, I like that. And what would be the ideal gig for you, if, the, if you had if the opportunity to choose to sing at one particular stage or event, what would be the ideal show for you? Um, see, I, I don't know, I wouldn't be able to pick one specific, I just love performing. So I could be at a, at a house party and I'm performing to people and it makes me just as happy as I'm on a big stage. Thank you so much for joining us on Meraki TV. I always love to be here with you guys. And I thank you so much for always supporting not only myself, but all the local talent and all the Greek scene and you keep the Greek alive. Thank you, Meraki TV.
But yeah, so much fun yet again. Thank you for hanging out. We love hearing your comments, so please keep them coming. You can stay in touch with us via Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, watch replays on YouTube, and email our website, medaki.tv. Medaki TV is of course brought to you by George Focus of Focus Beyond, education for investing wisely. A big thank you to our guests tonight, George Diajo Michalis and Maria Stavropoulou. Tonight, I'm leaving you with a sample of Maria's amazing vocal talent. Until next week, Pedia, you like it from me, Anna Savo. Meraki TV is proudly brought to you by George Focus of Focus Beyond, education for investing wisely.